Residents in Glasgow are being warned of telephone fraudsters in 2020 as the number of people being duped by scammers continues to rise. Guidance has been revealed amid the rise, published from CPR Call Blocker. The firm has compiled the list of the most active scams doing the rounds in the city at the moment, urging people to be on their guard. The five most active scams at the moment are Police scam you may receive a call from someone claiming to be a police officer or detective who convinces you to withdraw funds and hand them over to an investigator. They may give you a fake crime number and investigation details. They also convince you not to trust bank staff. In some cases, people are asked to call 999 or 101 to verify the call is genuine but the scammers keep the line open, so you are actually talking to them. Amazon Prime Scam you may get a call from someone claiming to be from Amazon Prime saying you've been charged for an annual subscription. They then tell you that fraudsters have hacked your account to authorize payment, but it can be cancelled if you press 1 and then give access to your bank account in order to undo the hack. Amazon Prime would never ask you to do this. Bank scam, someone may call claiming to be from your bank saying there's a problem with your card or account. They may ask for your account, card and PIN details. They may also advise transferring your money to a safe account to protect it. A bank would never ask you to do this. HMRC scam, you may get a call from someone claiming to be from HMRC saying there is an issue with your tax refund or an unpaid tax bill. They leave a message asking you to call back. HMRC would never contact you in this way and ask for personal information and bank details. Compensation scam. You receive a call to tell you that you are due compensation for a vehicle slash work accident and you are then asked to provide personal details and or pay an admin fee to proceed. Computer repair scam, an old one, but still very popular. Someone calls claiming to be from a well-known IT firm such as Microsoft to tell you your computer has a virus. They will ask you to download antivirus software which may cost but also turns out to be spyware, used to get your personal details. IT companies don't contact customers this way. Chelsea Davis, CPR call blocker business development manager, said, whilst online scams continue to be growing, that doesn't mean that offline scams aren't also on the rise. Indeed, with so many people treating their mobile phones as an extension of their body, people are more accessible by phone than ever before. Some of these scams target specific individuals, while others involve people being called at random. Some involve phishing, a type of scam in which the caller is trying to fin for more on this story, visit the news article link.